I love collecting really rare games, specifically for the Game Boy, but I have also got here Tetris for the Wondus one, which is an incredibly sought after game. Obviously there's things like Trip World, which are famously rare. I mean, Trip World has always been desirable. And then there's a game like this, which is probably one you wouldn't expect to be so rare. And this is the software for the Game Boy sewing machine. And then we have a couple of other things here that I definitely shouldn't own. A development cartridge for the Game Boy Advance. And this one is a test cartridge for the Game Boy Advance, which is just a super duper cool thing to have in my collection. Now a common theme for all of those games is that they're from Japan. Now Japan did get some exclusive stuff that the rest of the world didn't get and that's exactly what this video is about today. Dance Dance Revolution Disney Mix. This game is insanely rare. The cartridge alone is an incredibly hard thing to get your hands on but I have a pretty much new old stock boxed variant of it right here. It comes with a dance pad controller for the Game Boy Color, which is super cool. Without any further ado, let's take a look at it. Now, I have done a video on the regular Dance Dance Revolution gamepad before, but I have absolutely no idea where that's gone. I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it. Now, the thing I'm probably most excited about is the pink dance pad controller. The fact that that is like a limited edition thing just with this game is so cool to me. Obviously, I'm also excited to see the kind of Disney styling of this game. We're going to take a look at the software as well, of course. Just look at the beautiful artwork on the front of this game. It's just so so cool. Without a doubt, Japan got far superior artwork on their boxes. I am absolutely obsessed. Right, let's open this thing up, hopefully without damaging it. It's always difficult. There we go. No crease in the middle. Very relieved. So let's have a look inside. Yeah, this has never been opened before. There's absolutely no way. So here is the game. There's kind of like three things going on in here. We've got the game. The beautiful game. Oh no, we're gonna have to get into that as well. Look at that. It's like a mini, mini version of the artwork, but actually kind of rearranged. It's kind of shuffled about. So it's really, really nice there to have both variants. Right, and then there's a small little sort of spacer piece of cardboard. That alone is probably worth a small fortune. And then finally, the box to the accessory, which I have to say is incredibly uninteresting. So let's take a quick look at the game. Is this gonna be a difficult thing to open as well? Not too bad. Okay, let's take a look inside here. Oh my goodness, I thought the game was missing for a second. I was like, where is it? But it's just fallen down. Yeah, this, there's no way this isn't a brand new game. I don't, there's no way. Yeah, it's absolutely mint. This is unplayed. Look at that cartridge. That is astonishingly beautiful. That is so nice. And then lastly, we have the little manual. Now these Japanese manuals, always so fun. Look, for example, at the super low quality photos of how to clip on the accessory there. That is just brilliant. And now we can open up the accessory. Please don't do this to me. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that is just so cool. It's so cool. Look at the colors on that. Absolutely stunning. Now, as per the actual box, I'll be using the same Game Boy that is featured on the box art. So let's go ahead and clip this thing on. I'll show you how it goes on. This thing is actually really well engineered. So the easy ones are obviously the left and right, but then the up and down ones, look at how much movement has to go on there. It looks like the inside of a watch. Fascinating. Right. Let's clip this little thing on. And it sort of just clips into these screw holes. There we go, one and two. And that is on there, nice and solid. Okay, final thing to do, pop the cartridge in. And let's turn it on. Oh, wow. That is such a nice setup, look at that. So if you don't have the controller, you have to click left or right, and that is gonna turn it on and off. Obviously, we do, so let's go ahead and press start. So pressing left and right, you can go through all of the different songs, which are different to the original game, which is just fantastic. So let's go for Mickey Mouse March. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, my arms are hurting. 
Okay, I finished it. So what we can actually do so that you can see the gameplay a little bit better is use this right here, the GB Interceptor, which was sent to me by There Ought To Be. Check out this guy's work, it's absolutely incredible. It's a very simple device to use. You unplug your cartridge and you plug in the GB Interceptor and then you plug in the cartridge and now you have this elongated little thing and there's just a USB-C output on there, which is just incredible. So let's go ahead and hook this up and test it out. Unfortunately, the GB Interceptor doesn't work with Dance Dance Revolution, but it does work with the Game Boy Camera. So just take a quick look at this. There's me on the Game Boy Camera talking to you right now. Here's Dance Dance Revolution. Sadly, does not work on the GB Interceptor. Back to the drawing board. Two hours later. I have done it and this is the sickest setup ever. Basically what I did is I used Epilogue to get the ROM off the cartridge and then I've used my Inside Gadgets GB controller with the USB adapter and then I've got Visual Boy Advance playing the ROM that I just got off of the cartridge using Epilogue and I've finally been able to work out a way to get the controller hooked up onto the Game Boy and play it and capture the screen. This is exciting. Okay, let's play a different song. Here we go. Oh, it's a small world. An absolute Disney classic. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> this is so sick. Has anyone even ever done this before? It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. I think that's the only lyrics, right? <laughs> this is actually the sickest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Why have I never thought to do this before? This has got to be one of the coolest videos I've ever made. And so there we have it. What an absolutely incredible accessory and game. This thing is just so cool to me. The fact that they made a Disney exclusive version is just epic. And the fact that it's only made for the Japanese market again is so cool. Look, for sale and use in Japan only and commercial rental prohibited. What an awesome little thing. Who would have guessed it? Disney being super secure and secret about stuff. How weird. Um, I have to say a massive thank you to the GB Interceptor, the guy behind that, there ought to be an incredible company. Go and check out their website. Link will be in the description. Also a big shout out to Epilogue, a very cool thing. This does actually have its own uh, sort of software to play the games that you can, you basically can just plug cartridges into your computer and just play them immediately. Uh, but for some reason I couldn't get the Inside Gadgets controller to work on the software, but it worked very well with Visual Boy Advance. Again, massive shout out to Inside gadgets as well for this controller it's just so cool and they make an adapter for loads of different consoles as well that's it incredible stuff thanks very much for watching i'll catch you all in the next one bye